Hello and welcome to Matthew Teach You Math. Today we'll be doing the following problem. Find the area of the square. So as we can see, we have a square here. I'll call my square A, B, C, D. And in our square, we have a shaded triangle. So I'll call this point E and I'll call this point F. And we know the side lengths of our triangle. Our triangle has side lengths of 1, 2, and the square root of 5. So since we're looking for the area of the square, let's just denote x to be the side length of our square. So to find the area, all we need to do is to find x squared. Now if we would take a closer look at our triangle, specifically this angle here, angle BEF, well, it looks like a right angle. It looks like it measures 90 degrees. So to show that it is in fact a right angle, we will be using the Pythagorean theorem. So, so if we recall, the Pythagorean theorem states that the sum of the squares of the legs of a right angle triangle is equal to the square of its hypotenuse. So if this statement is true, then we have confirmed that triangle BEF is in fact a right angle triangle. And this statement is in fact true. So 1 plus 4 equals to 5, and 5 is the square of the square root of 5. So now we have shown that triangle BEF is a right angle triangle. This is important to solve our problem because now we can show that triangles BAE and triangle EDF, so that would mean these two triangles here, are similar triangles. So that means that they have the same shape but are of different sizes. So to show that, what I'll do, I'll make this angle alpha here. I'll call this beta. This we know is a right angle. Now the interior, the the sum of the interior angles of a triangle measures 180 degrees, and that's the same as a straight line here. So what we can do is we can we can confirm that this angle here, angle DEF, is in fact alpha. Alpha plus beta plus 90 degrees equals to 180 degrees. So since we have a right angle here, now we can confirm that angle DFE is beta. And we have shown that our two triangles are similar. So now that we've shown that they're similar, we can find their ratio of similarity since we have the hypotenuse of triangle BAE and triangle EDF. So here we call the ratio of similarity K. I'll put the big on the small. So two on one, the ratio of similarity equals to two. So that means that the side lengths of triangle EDF would be half that of triangle BAE. Of course, we can say that the side lengths of triangles BAE would be twice that of triangle EDF. So let's take a look here. We have one of the legs of triangle BAE. It is the same as the side length of our square. So we denote it to be X. So since we have that, that means this leg here, let's say the longer leg of our smaller triangle, segment DE, would be half that of segment AB. So it would be X on 2. And since we know that segment DA, that is the side length of our square, is equal to X, that means segment EA is equal to X on 2 as well. And now if we want, we can find the length of segment DF. It will be half that of segment EA, so it would be X on 4. So, so now what we can do, well, we can set up an equation to solve for x. Actually, we can set up two equations, and they should give us both the same answer. So we'll use the Pythagorean theorem again. So the sum of the squares of the legs of a right angle triangle is equal to the square of its hypotenuse. So now we'll get x squared on 4 plus x squared on 16 equals to 1. I'll add this all up, and I'll get 5 on 16 x squared is equal to 1. So now I can show that x squared is 16 on 5 square units. We can rewrite this as 3 and 1 fifth square units. 
And if we want, we can use the other triangle now to verify our answer. So the other triangle is x squared plus x on 2 all squared is equal to 2 squared now. So we'll get x squared plus x squared on 4 is equal to 4. We'll get 5 on 4. x squared is equal to 4. And once again, we have shown that x squared is equal to 16 on 5 or 3 and 1 fifth square units. And with that, we have solved our problem. So the key to solving our prob this problem is to show that this angle here, angle BEF, is in fact a right angle. And we use the Pythagorean theorem to show that. And with that, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And Matthew teach you math.